Hello everyone, welcome back to Liwat channel. On today, the Fortress of Odil. We have four keys, so we are fighting four bosses today. The fourth stage, Demonic Ascension. This one, we are using healer to deal damage. So the boss, the demon type D2 and then the demon type Y2. The Y2 cannot be killed. We need to kill the D2. But the D2 is immune to normal attacks. We need heal. We need to heal our relic. When we enter, we have another companion, the relic. We need to protect the relic. If the relic dies, we die. Okay, understand? So to increase the... To get a lot of heals, we use this special skill. We bring Joanne to tank to the relic to survive. Even easier than you can use Osma. But maybe you want to save Osma for later. Up to you. Or you can use Twili. So this skill, Sanctuary of the Goddess. The caster creates a sanctuary for 5 seconds that continuously heal allies by 100% of the caster attack power. Allies under the effect of this sanctuary recovers an additional 5% of their maximum HP when healed by another skill. Uh, so the second the second sentence is very important. Allies under the effect of this sanctuary recovers an additional 5% of their maximum HP when healed by another skill. So this heal will damage the bosses. So we know that when healed by another skill, so we focus on looking heroes that has the skill like Bari. Summon a field of flowers that heal nearby allies 40 times. So that 40 times the five, times 5% 5 is a lot of heals. Same thing with this uh, 3 star Spencer. Summon a field of flowers that heal nearby allies 40 times. But let's say you don't want to use the 3 star, you want easier time, you want to be used the powerful one. Then you can use Bari. Summon a field of flowers that heal nearby allies. This one will be easier because 6 star can equip with accessories, 3 star cannot equip accessories. And then for faster, even faster, you can pair with Line. Because Line. Where this one, this one. Ah, here. Upon summoning Arborvite, Arborvite, the Floss Perpetus will bloom to increase the heals received by allies with within Lin's range by 60%. So couple, so there are only couple ways to faster the clear. The first one increase our healing, or the second one is increase the damage taken by enemy. We cannot buff our hero, but we can debuff the enemy. So you can use the something like Shark or Ashley. So, but for this showcase, I'll be using the three star, and then we use Champion Ender because. The entire team, no, not this one. With every 15 heals allies receive, Ender displays strength of the confederation to deal. This one, blah, blah, blah. Enemies hit by the strength of the confederation receive 40% increased damage for the next 5 seconds. So we have two heroes that heal a lot. So Ender will then will debuff the boss. For Goddess, I use Bella. Just for a bigger range. We can't really increase it. So that is the relic. We just spam. <laughs> yeah, that's spam. We just need to make sure. Oh yeah, to make it easier to for the rally to survive, we want to use uh, accessories which generate blocks for Joanne, so Joanne can keep tanking the damage. Totally forgot about the Goddess Berry. 
I already missed it. But luckily we killed the boss. Okay, okay, okay. And then this one we have Anubisis and Dragon Life. Do I have the hero prepared? Let's see. Okay, I don't have the hero prepared. So Anubisis stun to counter. And Dragon Leaf use Goddess this one for the Goddess Berry. So the main thing we need a hero that stun. Immediately when we start the battle, we need to stun Anubisis, else we will get one shot. So you can use hero that stun. I'll be using Lee. Yeah, that Lee. But let me equip first with the accessories. Critical chance, critical chance. Are you changing? We go with the damage build. For the accessories, we just be using special skill, special skill, generic blocks, attack power. If you don't have Lee, then you can use the promotion hero run grid. Upon using the hero's tree chain, uh, no, not this one. Yeah. Upon using piercing obliter obliteration with a tree chain, the blade of the Enhaja flashes forward and stuns the nearest enemy for 1.5 seconds. So for this one, the build you want to use the critical chance and then critical damage with the armor penetration. And then uh, also life steering. And just accessories with a generate block, generate special block and attack power. She can solo. But you must use the champion bond level 0. I'll be using with Lee. Wait, wrong Lee. I equip the wrong Lee. I'll be using Lee with the champion Ibelin. Because the Ibelin can be a DPS, the entire team's critical chance is increased by 20% and when an ally hero lands a critical hit, deals physical damage equal to 100% of Ibelin's attack power to all enemies. Perseverance ignores the target's evasion and is guaranteed to hit. It also ignores effect that deals direct damage. So I'll be using Lee and the Lee also deal multi-hit. And since Lee also an archer, we have the we have the special skill. What's this name again? Rapid Firing Soul. So attack is increased by 125%. Critical chance is increased by 40%. And since Ibelin is also part of the damage, we want to increase the Ibelin's uh, status. The stats. Attack power, something like that. Critical damage. So I'll be using... All the critical damage weapon on the trees, this three star, and also attack armor penetration and also critical damage. Same with the other three star. Critical damage, critical damage, critical damage, critical damage, armor penetration, armor penetration, armor penetration. You can see it on the champion side here, here. Armor penetration, critical damage, eight hundred percent. Critical chance, sixty-five percent. 
After this, then we just need to spam. You can use Rangrid or any 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 hero that stun. Just pick your choice. So you see there is a lot of critical hit. If you want this faster, you can add Kaide, uh, Kaide. But you can save Kaide for later on. The next stage is a soulful duo. This is like that ordeal where you want to kill the boss one by one. We cannot damage both of the bosses to below 20, 50% HP. If both at below 50% HP, then we die. Sotar also buff the evasion, so you want to use the accuracy build. Not crazy, but you can use the champ just champion Winchester is enough. For this one we'll be using Anna. Because Anna only hit the enemies at the front. We equip with accuracy ring with a lifesteal. Accuracy ring and then the accessories take it from the Lee This one should be fine. The other two heroes is optional. You want faster than you Put in more support hero. So don't forget to use the Winchester champion to increase the accuracy. Did I pick the wrong one? Critical damage, critical damage, okay. Life steal, okay. Hmm. Maybe I need the Silonis. So as you can see, we still have the same two key. We didn't lose the key even well, even though we failed it. Silunis. And then the last one for today is the 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 hair. It's Leonel. So we need to check our hit count and use Goddess for the parry. So Leonel can be somewhat tough. We need timing. Because uh, Leonel has a stance like 
how do I say? Mm, the let's prepare for the heroes first. So Lionel will have a couple seconds, like taking our hit. If we do too much hit count, we will die. Yeah, something, something like that. So for this one, I'll be using Genevieve with the critical damage build and resist penetration. Same thing with the ring, resist penetration and critical damage. And we move the accessories. And then for the Wumpa, not this one. Okay, we want to use the energy of Goddess to get a lot of blocks because Genevieve want us to use three chain. So we use generate one block and then generate one special skill. So the main thing about Lionel is we if we hit too much during that duration, then we die. I just it's easier to show it. So that's uh, this during this animation damage proportional to the hit count. The boss will counter us. So if we hit too much during that moment, that that, that attack will uh, kill us. So let's restart. So lot of evil damage proportional to hit count. So the proper way to clear this is you by using the DP, DP hero that doesn't hit too much, something like Sodan. But maybe you are probably use Sodan on the floor above. So you want to use different hero. Or you can use another way. We time our damage. We hit it after the parry, after this lot of evil finish. Something like Lupeo or this Genevieve. So let's retry. This time, we time it to damage after the Lord of Evil is done. First, we use Alexander block to survive. We don't want to use 3 chain now because that will automatically trigger Genevieve to attack then we will die. So we're just trying to survive. Then we quickly 3 chain. Just like this. You can use other hero like uh, Lupio. But you will need to use champion like Lia for the evasion buff and then also like uh, evasion tank. Because Lupio depends on enemy to miss. Bye bye.